Gulf of Finland. The Gulf of Finland is the easternmost arm of the Baltic Sea. It extends between Finland, to the north, and Estonia, to the south, all the way to St. Petersburg in Russia, where the river Neva drains into it. Other major cities around the Gulf include Helsinki and Tallinn. The eastern parts of the Gulf of Finland belong to Russia, and some of Russia's most important oil harbors are located farthest in, near St. Petersburg, including Primorsk. As the seaway to St. Petersburg, the Gulf of Finland has been and continues to be of considerable strategic importance to Russia. Some of the environmental problems affecting the Baltic Sea are at their most pronounced in the shallow Gulf. The area of the Gulf is the length from the Hanko Peninsula to St. Petersburg, is in the width varies from near the entrance to on the meridian of Moshni Island, in the Neva Bay, it decreases to. The gulf is relatively shallow with a depth decreasing from the entrance to the gulf to the continent. The sharpest change occurs near Narva Joazuu, which is why this place is called Narva Wall. The average depth is with the maximum of. The depth of the Neva Bay is less than, therefore, a channel was dug at the bottom for safe navigation. Because of the large influx of fresh water from rivers, especially from the Navar River, two-thirds of the total runoff, the Gulf water has very low salinity, between 0.2 and 5.8 at the surface and 0.3 to 8.5 near the bottom. The average water temperature is close to 0 degrees Celsius in winter, in summer, it is at the surface and at the bottom. Parts of the Gulf can be frozen from late November to late April. The freezing starts in the east and gradually proceeds to the west. Complete freezing is usually reached by late January, and it might not occur in mild winters. There are frequent strong western winds causing waves, surges of water, and floods. The northern coast of the Gulf is high and winding, with abundant small bays and skerries, but only a few large bays, Viberk, and peninsulas, Hanko and Port Kalaniami. The coast is mostly sloping, there are abundant sandy dunes, with occasional pine trees. The southern shores are smooth and shallow, but along the entire coast runs the Baltic Clint with the height up to. In the east, the Gulf ends with Neva Bay and on the west merges with the Baltic Sea. The Gulf contains numerous banks, skerries and islands. The largest include Kotlin Island with the city of Kronstadt, population 42,800, Peryozovi Islands, Lisi Island, Mali Vysotsky Island with the nearby city of Vysotsk, population 1706, Hogland. Suursari, Moshchny, Levansari, Bolshoi Tyuters, Titasari, Summers, Nasa'ur, Kimitun, Kokar, Seskar, Saiskari, Pakri Islands and others. Starting from 1700, 19 artificial islands with fortresses were built in the Gulf by Russia. Their purpose was defense from attacks from water and their construction was urged by the Great Northern War of 1700 to 1721. Those include Fort Alexander. Krasnya Gorka, Eno, Totalpin, Kronchlot and others. The largest rivers flowing into the Gulf are Neva, from the east, Narva, from the south, and Kaimi, from the north. Kala, Parita, Jagala, Kunda, Luga, Sista and Kovashi flow into the Gulf from the south. From the north flows Sestra River, Porvu, Vanta and several other small rivers. Sima Canal connects the Gulf with the Sima Lake. The International Hydrographic Organization defines the western limit of the Gulf of Finland as a line running from Spithami, 59 degrees and 13 minutes north, in Estonia, through the island of Osmosar from Esi to NW and on to the SW extreme of Hanko Peninsula, 22 degrees and 54 minutes east, in Finland. The modern depression can be traced to the incision of large rivers during the Cenozoic prior to the Quaternary glaciation. These rivers eroded the sedimentary strata above the Fenis Candian shield. In particular, the eroded material was made up of Ediacaran, Vendian, and Cambrian Ejedglystone and Sandstone. As erosion processes, the rivers encountered harder layers of Ordovician aged limestone, leading to the formation of the cliffs of Baltic Clint in northern Estonia and Ingria. Subsequently the depression was somewhat reshaped by glaciers' activities. Its retreat formed the Littorina Sea, whose water level was some 7 to 9 meters higher than the present level of the Baltic Sea. Some 4,000 years ago the sea receded and shoals in the Gulf have become its islands. Later uplifting of the Baltic Shield skewed the surface of the Gulf, for this reason, its ancient northern shores are significantly higher than the southern owns. The climate in the area is humid continental climate characterized by temperate to hot summers and cold, occasionally severe winters with regular precipitation. The vegetation is dominated by a mixture of coniferous and deciduous forests and treeless coastal meadows and cliffs. The major forest trees are pine, spruce, 
birch, willows, rowan, aspen, common and gray alder. In the far eastern part of the gulf vegetation of the marshy areas consists mainly of bulrush and reeds, as well as fully aquatic plants, such as white and yellow water lilies and acute sedge. Aquatic plants in the shallow waters of the gulf include rupia and spiny naiad. Fish species of the gulf include Atlantic salmon, viviparous eelpalp, gobies, belitsa, loach, European chub, common minnow, silver bream, common dace, rough, crucian carp, stickleback, European smelt, common rud, brown trout, tench, pipefish, burbot, perch, gudgeon, mumpsucker, roach, lamprey, vendas, garfish, common whitefish, common bream, zander, orf, northern pike, spined loach, sprat, baltic herring, saber carp, common bleak, European eland Atlantic cod. Commercial fishing is carried out in spring and autumn. Gray seal and ringed seal are met in the gulf, but the latter is very rare. Many ancient sites were discovered on the shores of the gulf dated to up to 9,000 years old. Humans began to inhabit these places soon after the Ice Age glaciers have retreated and the water level of the Littorina Sea lowered to reveal the land. Remains of about 11 Neolithic settlements were found since 1905 in the mouth of the river Sestra River, Leningrad Oblast. They contain arrow tips and scrapers made of quartz, numerous food utensils and traces of fire camps all indicative of hunting rather than agricultural or animal husbandry activities. The Gulf Coast was later populated by Finno-Ugric peoples. Yesti, or Chud, inhabited the region of the modern Estonia, boats were living on the south of the Gulf and Azorians to the south of Navarre River. Karela tribes settled to the west of Lake Ladoga. In the 8th and 9th centuries, the banks of Navan of the Gulf of Finland was populated by East Slavs, in particular by Oman Slavs and Kriviks. They were engaged in slash-and-burn agriculture, animal husbandry, hunting and fishing. From the 8th to the 13th century, the Gulf of Finland and Nava were parts of the waterway from Scandinavia, through Eastern Europe to the Byzantine Empire. From the 9th century, the eastern coast of the Gulf belonged to Veliki Novgorod and were called Vodskaya Piatina. As a result of the 1219 Crusade and the Battle of Lindenais, the northern Estonia became part of Denmark, Danish Estonia. In the 12th century, the city Raval, was established on the territory off modern Tallinn. As a result of the Estonian uprising in 1343, the northern Estonia was taken over by the Teutonic Order and sold by Denmark in 1346. In 1559, during the Livonian War, the Bishop of Zulwik in Old Livonia sold his lands to King Frederick II of Denmark for 30,000 thalers. The Danish king gave the territory to his younger brother Magnus, who landed on Sarma with an army in 1560. The whole of Sarma became a Danish possession in 1573, and remained so until it was transferred to Sweden in 1645. In the 12th and 13th centuries, the Finnish tribes on the north of the Gulf were conquered by the Swedes who then proceeded to the Slavs. The first encounter is attributed to 1,142 when 60 Swedish ships attacked three Russian merchant vessels. After a Swedish attack in 1256, the Russian army of Alexander Nevsky crossed the frozen Gulf and raided the Swedish territories in the modern Finland. In 1293, the Vibrik Castle and city of Vibrik was founded by the Swedish Marshal Torkel Knutsen. The castle was fought over for decades between Sweden and the Novgorod Republic. By the Treaty of Notborg in 1323, Vibrik was finally recognized as a part of Sweden. It withstood a prolonged siege by Daniel Schenja during the Russo-Swedish War of 1496-1499. The town's trade privileges were chartered by King Eric of Pomerania in 1403. Vibrik remained in Swedish hands until its capture by Peter the Great in the Great Northern War, 1710. In 1323, the Treaty of Notborg set the border between Sweden and Russia along the river Sestra. In the 15th century, the Azorian lands of the Novgorod Republic were attached to the Grand Duchy of Moscow. In 1550, Gustav I of Sweden founded a city on the site of modern Helsinki. As a result of the Russian defeat in the Angrian War, 1610 1617, and the Treaty of Stolbovo, 1617, the lands on the Gulf of Finland and Navarre River became part of the Swedish Ingria. Its capital Nyon was located in the delta of Navarre River. Russia reclaimed the eastern part of the Gulf as a result of the victory in the Great Northern War, 1700-1721. On May 16, 1703, St. Petersburg was founded in the mouth of Navarre River, not far from Nyon, and in 1712 it became Russia's capital. To protect the city from the Swedish fleet, 
The Kronchla Fortress was built on an artificial island near the Kotlin Island in May 1704. By 1705, five more such forts were built nearby composing the city Kronstadt. These fortifications, nicknamed by the contemporaries the Russian Dardanelles, were designed to control the Gulf Waterway. In 1710, the cities of Peterhof and Oranienbaum were founded on the southern shore of the Gulf of Finland. On July 27, 1714, near the Hanko Peninsula, the Russian Navy won the Battle of Gangut, a decisive victory over the Imperial Swedish Navy. The Russo-Swedish War ended in 1721 by the Treaty of Nystad, by which Russia received all the lands along the Neva and the Gulf of Finland, as well as Estland, Swedish Livonia and western part of the Karelian Isthmus, including Viborg. However, Finland was returned to Sweden. The war resumed in 1788 to 1790 and the Battle of Hogland occurred on July 6, 1788 near Thesland Gogland. Both the battle and the war were relatively minor and indecisive, with the outcome of Russia retaining its territories. The next Russo-Swedish War was fought in, 1808-1809. It ended with the Treaty of Fredericksham giving the Russia rights on the territory of Finland and Oland Islands. The newly established in 1809 Grand Duchy of Finland received broad autonomy within the Russian Empire and Western Karelia was returned to Finland. On December 6, 1917, the Parliament of Finland promulgated the Finnish Declaration of Independence. Western Karelia was annexed by the Soviet Union after the Winter War. Estonia declared independence on February 24, 1918, and fought a war of independence. The Republic existed until 1940 and then was annexed by the Soviet Union. Estonia regained its independence after the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. In March 1921, the Kronstadt Rebellion by sailors was put down by the Red Army. The Gulf of Finland had several major naval operations during World War II. In August 1941, during the evacuation of the Baltic Fleet from Tallinn to Kronstadt, German forces sank 15 Russian military vessels, five destroyers, two submarines, three guardships, two minesweepers, two gunboats and one motor torpedo boat, as well as 43 transport and support ships. Several ships still remain on the Gulf bottom near Cape Jumenta, and a monument was raised there in memory of those lost in the events. In 1978, construction was started on the St. Petersburg Dam aiming to protect St. Petersburg from the frequent floods. The work was halted at 60% completion in the late 1980s. Due to the financial problems related to the breakup of the Soviet Union, it was resumed in 2001 and is, as of August 2011, complete. The southern coast of the Gulf contains the Leningrad nuclear power plant and a network of ports and unique natural and historical places. Navigation has long been the dominant activity in the Gulf. The major port cities and their functions are, in Russia, St. Petersburg, all kinds of goods, Kronstadt, container shipping, Lomonosov, general cargo, Containers, metals, Viborg, general cargo, Primorsk, oil and petroleum products, Vysotsk, oil and coal, Usluga, oil, coal, timber, containers, in Finland, Helsinki, containers, Kotka, containers, timber, agricultural products, it is the main transhipment cargo port for Russia, Hanko, containers, vehicles, Turku, containers, rail ferry, Kilpilati slash Skoldik Harbor, oil refinery, in Estonia, Tallinn, grains, refrigerators, oil, Paldiski, Silimi. Gulf of Finland is also part of the Volga Baltic Waterway and White Sea Baltic Canal. Important goods include appetite from the Kola Peninsula, Karelian granite and greenstone, timber from Arkhangelsk Oblast and Vologda, ferrous metals from Chiryupovets, coal from Donbass and the Kuznetsk Basin, pyrite from Ural, potassium chloride from Solikomsk, oil from Volga region and grains from many regions of Russia. Passenger transport on the Gulf includes a number of ferry lines which connect the following ports, Helsinki and Hanko, Finland, Mariham, Olin Islands, Stockholm and Kapelscher, Sweden, Tallinn and Paldiski, Rostock, Germany, St. Petersburg and Kaliningrad, Russia, as well as many other cities. Another major and historical activity in the Gulf is fishing, especially on the northern coast near Viborg. Primorsk and on the southern coast near East Luka. Commercial fish species are herring, sprats, European smelt, white fishes, carp bream, roaches, perch, European eel, lamprey, and others. In 2005, the catchment was 2,000 tons by the ships of St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast alone. 
Britain. In September 2005 the agreement was signed on the construction of the Nord Stream offshore gas pipeline on the Baltic Sea, from Vibrick to the German city of Greifswald. The first line was expected to become operational in 2011. Afterwards, the first line of Nord Stream was laid by May 2011 and was inaugurated on November 8, 2011. The second line was inaugurated on October 8, 2012. The bottom of the Gulf is one of the world's largest ship cemeteries. Because of the low salinity in cold waters, and no shipworms, the ships are relatively well preserved. Since the 6th century, major waterways were running through the Gulf, and from the 8th to the 10th century about 3,000 tons of silver waste transported there. Later, the Gulf was actively used by Sweden and Russia for transport of goods. Every year saw dozens of lost ships. In the fall of 1743, 17 Russian warships returning from Finland sank in just seven hours, and in the summer of 1747, 26 merchant vessels sank within four hours near Narva. A record was set in 1721 when, during the evacuation of Russian troops from Finland, more than 100 vessels were lost within three months, including 64 in a single night. By the end of 1996, about 5,000 submerged objects were identified in the Russian part of the Gulf, including 2,500 ships, 1,500 airplanes, and small items such as boats, anchors, tanks, tractors, cars, cannons, and even naval mines, aerial bombs, torpedoes, and other ammunition. The ships belonged to Russia, 25%, Germany, 19%, United Kingdom, 17%, Sweden, 15%. Netherlands, 8%, and Finland, 7%. The remaining 9% are from Norway, Denmark, France, United States, Italy, Estonia, and Latvia. These objects present potential hazards to navigation, fishery, coastal construction, laying of submarine pipelines and cables, and the environment. Mines were laid in the Gulf during World War I, 38,932 units, the Russian Civil War, and the Soviet Finnish War. 1939 to 1940, with an estimated total number of 60,000, 85,000 more mines were set during World War II, and only a fraction of all those were eliminated after the wars. The ecological condition of the Gulf of Finland, Neva Bay and Neva River is unsatisfactory. There is significant contamination by ions of mercury and copper, organochlorine pesticides, phenols, petroleum products and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Cleaning of wastewater in St. Petersburg was started in 1979 and by 1997 about 74% of wastewater was purified. This number rose to 85% in 2005, to 91.7% by 2008, and as of 2009 was expected to reach 100% by 2011 with the completion of the expansion of the main sewerage plant. Nevertheless, in 2008, the Federal Service of St. Petersburg announced that no beach off St. Petersburg is fit for swimming. Fish catchment decreased 10 times between 1989 and 2005. Apart from pollution, another reason for that is hydraulic and engineering works. For example, construction of new ports in Usluka and Vysotskan on Vasilyevsky Island adversely affected the spawning of fish. Extraction of sand and gravel in the Neva Bay for the land reclamation destroy spawning sites of European smelt. Construction of the St. Petersburg Dam reduced water exchange of the Neva Bay with the eastern part of the Gulf by 10 to 20 percent that increased the contamination level of Neva Bay. The largest changes occur within from the dam. Some shallow areas between St. Petersburg and the dam are turning into swamps. Water logging and the associated rotting of plants may eventually lead to eutrophication of the area. Also worrying is expansion of oil ports in the Gulf and the construction of a treatment center for spent fuel from the Leningrad nuclear power plant. The port of Kronstadt is currently serving as a transit point for the import in Russia of radioactive waste through the Baltic Sea. The waste, mostly depleted uranium hexafluoride, is further transported through St. Petersburg to Novorolsk, and Garsk and other cities of eastern Russia. This transit point will be moved from St. Petersburg to the port Ustluga, which is about west of St. Petersburg, and within the border security zone of Russia, as decided by the Russian government in 2003. Order number 1491R of October 14, 2003. It is expected that after this completes it should reduce the ecological risks for St. Petersburg. Ustluka is envisioned to be the largest transportation and logistics hub in northwestern Russia. However, in 2015 it was reported that some construction plans in Ustluka were frozen, and the construction of Ustluga Multimodal Complex, 
supposed to be the transit point for radioactive waste, never started. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.